हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर एक्साइटिंग एक्सप्लोरेशन इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ जेटपैक कंपोज टुडे वी आर डाइविंग डीप इनटू द पावरफुल एनिमेट एज स्ट्रेट बिल्ट इन एनिमेशन कंपोजिबल्स दीज फंक्शंस आर अ सेट ऑफ बिल्ट इन एनिमेशन यूटिलिटीज दैट मेक इट इजी टू एनिमेट वेरियस प्रॉपर्टीज इन अ कंपोज यूआई दीज फंक्शंस आर पार्ट ऑफ द एनिमेट एज स्ट्रेट फैमिली and are commonly used to create dynamic and engaging user interface so let's open our android studio and animate some values so here first let's create a new file with the name animate as state anim so to visualize this animation first i will take a box and then i will rotate that box so here let's take the box layout so in this box layout first i have taken this fill max size so this box layout will take the maximum size of that phone's screen and the content of this box will be in the center so here again let's take a box and in this box we don't need these parentheses so here let's use the modifier first let's give some size of 250 dp and then let's use that rotate modifier so in this rotate modifier we will give the degrees we want to rotate so here so here let's create a value for this rotation degrees so when we type this animate as straight so we can see we have these so many values we can animate so here let's take this animate float as straight we will animate the float value so here we need to provide the target value so we will give the target value based on some state so here let's create one state so here i have created this animate rotation with this false boolean value so here we will say if if this value is true then we will animate to it 45 else 0 f and we can also see it is giving some warning so let's hover the mouse and it is asking for this add label parameter so let's add this label parameter so this label parameter is used to differentiate from other animations so for now let's leave it blank and here we will provide this rotation degrees and after this let's give some background now we also need to change this animate rotation value so let's put a clickable modifier on this box so here we will make this animate rotation value to inverse value whenever we will click on this box and let's also change it to where and import these so now we can run our app and see how this is animating so here we have our app so let's click on this box and here we can see it is animating so next thing let's go back to our composable and here if we don't use this animate float as state then let's see what will be the result let's copy these values and paste it here directly now let's run our app
so let's again click now we can see the transition is not that smooth because we are just using this if block so these animate as straight functions gives us a smooth transitions and one more thing we can do here is when we click on this box we can see there is some clickable effect suppose we don't want this clickable effect so here what we can do we can provide some additional values in this clickable and next thing we need to provide this indication to null and let's also use this in the on click like this now we can remove this part from here and let's use this now let's run it again so let's click on these so here we can see now there is no clickable effect and we can see a smooth transition now next let's animate the color of this box so here again we have this animate color as straight function so here let's use this color animate color as straight so again this need that label parameter let's put these on the separate line and here target value again we will give with the help of this if condition so if this value is true then we will give the blue color else red color and comment out this rotate modifier and use that color value here now let's run it again let's click on these so here we can see we have a smooth transition between these two colors so like this we can use these animate as straight built in animation functions next we will see here when we press this control p we have this animation spec parameter we can also customize the animation specification so next we will see this so for that first let's minimize these imports and this one also and let's copy this whole function and paste it here and let's rename it to animate int as state so this time we will take a text composable and then button and let's rename this value to animate text by pressing shift f6 let's remove this one and here we will use the animate int as state and if the value of this animate text is true then we will use this 50 otherwise 0 so let's use this animate value here and use the different style this display large and here this button let's use the text so on this on click we will make this animate text value to inverse value and let's also use the align modifier to align it to the bottom center now let's use this composable function in our main activity and run our app again so here we have our text so let's press this start button and we can see our integer value has been animated so next thing we will see that animation spec so for that here let's use that animation spec parameter so we have these five types of 
animation specs we can use so by default it use the spring animation so here we will use the twin animation twin is the short form of that between word so in this twin we need to give the duration so let's use this twin so here we have these three parameter first we can define the duration millis so suppose we can provide some value something like 1000 millisecond means one second and next we have this delay millis so here we can specify the delay in starting so here we won't provide this next we have this easing so let's use this easing so by default we can see we have this fast out slow in easing so here let's type the ease word so here we can see we have these many different easing functions so let's use something like this ease in elastic suppose we want to see the visualization of this easing so for that here let's press ctrl q here it is giving that link so let's click on this here we can see the visualization now let's run our app and see how it is looking so here we can see this is how it is animating this time let's remove this easing and run it again so here we can see it is now animating perfectly now next we will animate a car so here let's copy this code and paste it here and I will paste a car image in this drawable package so this is the car we will use so here instead of this text we will use image composable and let's give the height to 50 dp and we can align our image in the center start and let's remove this alignment from here so to animate our car we will change the x-axis offset value so here we will use the offset modifier this offset needs the dp value so here we will use animate dp as a state so let's rename this variable and if this value is true then we will use 300 dp otherwise zero and let's also rename this variable to and for now let's remove this animation spec so by default all these built-in animations use spring animation so let's run our app and see how it is animating so here is our cars tap on this start button and here it is animating next let's customize the specification of animation this spring needs these three parameters damping ratio stiffness and this visibility threshold so here we will see this damping ratio so we can select the damping ratio from this list we can select the low bouncy high bouncy medium bouncy so for now let's select this and next we have this stiffness so again for this stiffness let's type this spring dot here we can select stiffness so let's select high and now let's run it again 
so here we can see our car with the high bouncy and high stiffness and to see the visualization of these damping ratio and stiffness we can go to the google and search compose animation back and let's click on this first link so here in this customize animation we have this page so here we can play this video and this will give us a good visualization. So you can select among these whatever fits in your use case. And next we have this twin versus spring. So these two are mostly used. So here we can see this spring is more natural. So for the next three, we have this keyframes, repeatable and this infinite repeatable. You can read more about these here. So that is all for this video. And in the next video, we will explore animated visibility. Thanks for watching.